So the poem I wrote for today is about how far we've come in terms of gender parity collectively as a community and how far we've yet to come. What does it mean to be a woman? First, what is a woman to society? Shouldn't they know best since they pick apart our privacy? Well, historically, they valued our loyalty and thought it best if we stayed at home with the kids quietly, never in positions of authority. But now, we've changed a lot for equality, change of mentality, but only the majority. There are still people who think unjustifiably that because we're women, we have less humanity, more insanity, that we're too weak to deal with our insecurities, that we have too much anxiety to try and fit in. No. That is where they're wrong, because when you ask a girl today, our age, what it means to be a woman, she will say that a woman is strong. She doesn't give way to the people who oppress her. She doesn't think she's lesser, just an object of desire, because we work every day, whether at home or away, because she doesn't need a man to provide for her, okay? She works for her pay, she's not a cliche. And I'm telling you right now that we don't have to stay on the path that's been laid out for us. We don't have to obey just because we're women. But at the same time, we must all stop and reassess. Because sometimes we obsess with how we rank within ourselves. How can we expect progress if we tear each other down in contests, losing ourselves in the process? How can we protest our lack of rights if we get jealous and tear down a fellow woman because she's had more success? We will continue to be suppressed, expected to dress to impress upon request, always stressed out by the labels that follow us around unless we work together. Because one person with a plan, they're only dreaming, and a collaboration of people, they're achieving. And it only works if we're all believing, all seeing the same goal. So we need to stop the demeaning way that people are seeing women. Not just men, but everyone. We need to start speaking if we ever want to stop beating the drum of the past. If we ever want to be leading, we've got to start freeing our mindsets of the need to keep competing. So finally, undeniably, it's time to make this our priority. I encourage you to go to the walk today to support gender parity. Thank you.